What's up guys, Armand here, and in today's video we are gonna go over the continuation of Nintendo trying to take a stand against competitive ultimate. Uh, in before someone asks, this has nothing to do with Melee, this is literally Nintendo fighting against competitive ultimate. I know it sounds absurd, uh, but that's the case. Uh, we are gonna go over uh, a little quick recap before we get into the new stuff for the people that might have missed uh, You know the story uh, So let's get started with a quick recap Checking out this tweet. So this is kind of interesting Nintendo not allowing play VS to run competition because they claim to be working on Collegiate eSport themselves seems unlikely considering their complete lack of involvement in the amateur slash pro level. And Playvius, that's the whole uh, collegiate league, the whole college league, so yeah, just for people that might not know. Unfortunately, we will not be able to offer Smash Ultimate for college this spring 2021 season at the request of the publisher who wants to wait to restart their college initiatives at a later date. We apologize to those who signed up and have some more exciting announcements coming in January that should more than make up for not having Smash this spring. So, as we can see here, uh, at the request of the publisher, uh, Nintendo, you know, wants to shut down uh, this college league. Uh, really, really sad if you ask me. Say that they want to restart, uh, you know, this whole thing at a later date. Uh, if we take up this one, for example, uh, Mathod Sub, uh, head TO for one of the biggest Smash tournaments in the world uh, on the East Coast in the US. Uh, and if we check out his tweet, he says, restart their uh, college initiatives. Uh, that should say start. I ran the largest college league in Smash from 2014 to 2017, and Nintendo didn't do jack to help us. So, I mean, the whole restart thing very clearly sounds more like, you know, we're trying to make it sound nicer than it is. Uh, I would 100% trust Mathod Sub on this. Uh, so, yeah, very clearly sounds like Nintendo is trying to, like, phrase it in a way where it sounds better than it actually is. I mean, Nintendo wouldn't be the only major corporation doing that, right? Uh, but yeah, let's get into some of the more new stuff uh, that came out of this uh, today. So we're gonna go over this tweet. Uh, Nintendo contacted PlayVS after word got out that they had to put an end to the planned league and Della. The employee who re re uh, originally posted the announcement in the PlayVS Discord server has had his contract terminated. This is not okay. In the past 24 hours, a screenshot of communication from a PlayVS employee on our Discord server has been widely shared around the internet. We want to clarify that statements was not approved by PlayVS leadership and it contained a misrepresentation of the facts. Uh, Alright, I will already say here, misrepresentation of facts. Alright, alright, fair enough. Uh, also in this, uh, they are never mentioning what the misrepresentation of facts are. Uh, I will say that a lot of this is still like, you know, a little bit in the territory where we haven't seen like official responses by Nintendo. So of course, like some of the stuff I will say in this video, I can't say 100% for certain, more like what things are looking like to me, what things are looking like to a lot of people on the internet right now. But of course, uh, you're allowed to like, you know, uh, make up your own mind. Uh, but I'm gonna speak about this from uh, my perspective of things, uh, how it looks like to me. Uh, but yeah, misrepresentation of facts, uh, I would love to hear uh, what the actual truth is then, since they say this is a misrepresentation. Uh, we're not gonna hear any of that uh, from, you know, these people, uh, which to me, in Indicates that there isn't a misrepresentation of facts. It's just, you know, trying to cover your tracks pretty much. Like Nintendo wants to, like, uh, you know, uh, get out with even, uh, like, get out with even less uh, bad PR than necessary. Uh, PlayVS and Nintendo have been engaged in discussion about how to best support the competitive gaming community and help it grow. At no time has Nintendo expressed any desire to stifle this community. Oh, okay. So engaged in discussion, discussions about how to support the competitive gaming community. And Nintendo has never expressed, you know, any desire to stifle this community. This is like where it clearly, clearly looks like a, a joke. 
Uh, some people might said, you know, but what, what, what we talked about earlier, uh, but you know, uh, it's play VS uh, texting here, uh, not Nintendo. But this really sounds like this is a Nintendo that have made this message. N you know, no desire to stifle this community. Are you kidding with me? Like we've seen like Nintendo trending for like five, 10, 15 different reasons in the past like two weeks, fighting against competitive communities, dedicated players, you know, that's pretty much all they're doing these days, it feels like. I mean, sure, you could try to uh, read uh, or interpret this as like, oh, they haven't done anything uh, to stifle the play uh, BS community. Uh, but I feel like that would be a big stretch. Uh, I feel like that would be a big stretch. Uh, so, as we know from the past, Nintendo, you know, have huge issues with the competitive scene, attacking, you know, events uh, when uh, charity has been, you know, involved, for example. Uh, online is, you know, too much, even during a global pandemic. Nintendo really does not like the competitive scene. So express no desire to stifle the community. <laughs> Yeah, good one, good one. But yeah, let's continue. We deeply regret that this statement has unfairly put Nintendo in a negative light. I mean, I will say they sure as hell do a great job at putting themselves in a negative light. Uh, Nintendo has been an excellent partner to us and all of our conversations have revolved around adding to an already passionate community and never about taking anything away from the competitive Smash scene. All right, an excellent partner. Here, another, you know, case, we don't hear any information. What what does this even mean? If, you know, if Nintendo is put in this, you know, super negative light, it's super unfair, you know? Nintendo is doing everything. Like, they're trying so hard for the competitive scene. Why are we not hearing anything about what are they actually doing, you know? They're apparently an excellent partner. We hear nothing about what they actually have done. They have no, you know, desire to stifle this community, even though they have a massive track record. A massive track record, literally, you know, proving the opposite. And it's apparently a misrepresentation of the facts, but we don't get to hear anything more on that front either. I mean, to me, it seems very clear cut. Um, anyway, let's uh, continue. We look forward to continued fruitful discussions and collaborations in the future that elevate the esports space. I mean, to me, this looks like. To me, this looks like a situation where play vs and as i said earlier take this with a grain of salt uh, i don't have all the facts so this is like you know how i read into this situation my interpretation of it uh but to me this almost sounds like nintendo are giving false promises and play vs is holding on to you know that hope uh like we're doing this now we're you know sacrificing something you know you know, for now, but then later on, uh, we get like a bigger reward, right? A little bit how like PM was kind of like thrown out the window and Nintendo came with all these promises uh, of, you know, how they would, you know, help out the community. Uh, and that never happened, right? Uh, the Smash scene never got anything out of it. So that was like a sacrifice that never should have happened. Uh, and it's sad that it happened. And to me, this looks like kind of like a repeat in a sense, right? Uh, sure, on a smaller scale, but still. It, it looks like Play VS is, you know, uh, basically, you know, covering the tracks for Nintendo. Uh, and then Della, as we could see earlier uh, in this whole thing, right? Uh, the employee who originally posted an announcement in the Play VS Discord server, he had, has, had his contract terminated. So yes, yeah, as, as stated here, can we also st stop to recognize for a second that Nintendo got this man fired just a few days before Christmas? I mean, that's what it sounds like to me. That's what it sounds like to me. Nintendo messed up. Uh, this person, uh, Della, uh, was, you know, bringing out the truth. That's what it looks like to me. Uh, Nintendo didn't like it, and they basically got Playdius to fire this person. So losing, you know, your job a few days before Christmas during a global pandemic. Uh, it, it's just like, it, like, it's just so hard to wrap my head around all of these things. It just sounds so absurd. And the more I think about it, the more I say, the more... Yeah, I, I, it's hard to take in. I feel very bad for this person. Uh, again, I'm open to the possibility uh, 
that, you know, I had misunderstood uh, some of these things. But to me, this very clearly uh, looks like, you know, person bringing out the truth. Nintendo didn't like it. Uh, either blackmailed or gave, gave fall hopes to play VS, who believed that the, for the greater good, at least long term, uh, Della, you know, loses his job uh, during a global pandemic shortly before Christmas. Really, really rough, really, really rough. As soon as we hear more info about this case, uh, I'll make sure to, you know, uh, dig into it. Uh, we can go over it together. Uh, but this looks really, really bad right now. I do encourage all of you guys to take part of this, you know, social media campaign as well. I know it's been many times, uh, especially lately, but Nintendo does not show any sign of slowing down. Earlier today, I actually did say that I feel like I basically every day wake up and it's another Nintendo disaster that happened during the, the night. But yeah, it's like you wake up and every day it's some Nintendo bullshit. Now I didn't even manage to go to bed before the next one game. So it's almost like they're like speeding it up right, uh, like right now. It's like, you know, once per day, it's not enough. Like, let's, you know, let's keep it rolling. Let's keep it rolling. Uh, but yeah, really, really tragic. But uh, I hope eventually we get to hear all the details. But if the past have told us anything, is that Nintendo is going to try to, you know, silence it all down and hope that everyone forgets about this one. But yeah, that's pretty much gonna be it for this video, guys. Uh, if you like the channel and you wanna support uh, me further, please make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace. All right, got a PB at least, got a PB. I just got a hope. That is Diggins, what was that? Oh! I did every single kill that match.